as I've said many times, the southwest version uh, of the logging mill, I fancied trying the Ural and towing the medium that's already loaded. Yeah. Yep. Okay. The bottom one, because it's sort well, of reasonable if, close If you want to do that one as the big boy, the big big logs, and me the scout, I'll do the... We'll no, do that no, last. no, we both do. What? No, I've told you this about oh. three or four times. Oh, okay, now. yes, sorry, I've got you. You, well, can, use now, your, you can use your K... your uh, C255. Uh-huh. Now, um, you're in the fuel station, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, so, I'm in the map, technically. Yeah. yeah. Will you be able to get past me? I'm sure I will. Or maybe I can come down past you. I'm sure I will. I just want an answer so I know where to, where to go. Um, you do. My, my current well, plan... Well, this is my... My idea is the same... <laughs> okay. The same group of trucks does the very north one, right? Yeah. <sighs> what? I'm oh, just uh, finding a. Uh, just watch my. Uh, watch it when you edit. What do you mean? Just you see what's happening when you edit. That's all. Okay. Um. My theory is. Uh huh. That. We use the same configuration of trucks we've just used to do the north one, right? Okay. Can I? Yeah, okay. Well, this was just my sort of theory, and yeah, then yeah. you can say whatever you like. And just for a bit different, we, we, you can use your C255, and I fancied using the Ural that's already up at the log station. It needs fueling up uh -huh. to drag the... Uh, medium log trailers that are already loaded up okay. across to the southwest one just to make it a bit different because okay. we always seem to use these as our preferred um, yeah yeah no I agree I'd like to change that a bit okay am I out of your way um, can you drive I can drive forward yeah. a bit no you're miles out of my way great you didn't need to do anything So I'm turning around. Or at least trying to. Unless you can think about another way of doing it. If you want to do long locks, that's fine. No, I'll do this. Oh. Bollocks. Pardon? Well, I was going to do long logs a minute ago while I was trying to ask you and you kept on telling me about your plan. Um, and what, I had to wait in the map for like five minutes for you to tell me your plan while you grunted and groaned. I um, left my trailer over here. I detached my trailer at the fuel station. You've come and tipped it over. You're actually, you've actually ripped one of my um, channel anchors out. Good. and I can't get my push anchor up. <sighs> Hang on, stop. Stop, that's it, I'm clear. Go on, go back. I'm sorry, I just could not see your trailer at all. Well, I know, that's fine, but you just had a go at me a little while ago for knocking into your trailer, so, you know. Well, don't... no, I did say that's all right. Because I knew sooner or later I'd do it. It's just the way these games are configured and it shouldn't really get us... Uh... See, I just can't see your trailer at all. Oh, no, I can. It just appeared just right just, in front of that's me. That's because I just attached it. Yeah, I know that. Good thing I realised that sooner rather than later, though. Mm. 
So, are you coming up here soon? Yeah. And, and in what configuration are you coming? I am bringing the B-130. Mm -hmm. I'm also bringing... Um, I think I'm bringing 2,600 litres of fuel. Beautiful. Beautiful. So. Um, that's just going to take me a little while to turn everything about. Did you know that most big rig tyres are not meant to go over, to se over 75 miles per hour? Yeah. Yeah, that's common knowledge, Oak Ridge. Uh, no, it's not that. It's just simply that um, most tyres are... Um, are um, rated at certain speeds. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, there's no point in designing them for a greater... It's like, you know, when you see a big knobbly four-wheel drive tyre uh, going along on the road and you hear it going sort of... sort of thing. It yeah. makes a big... Uh, whoops a daisy <laughs> Um... This is an interesting technique, Hawkreach. Why did you choose to use that technique? I don't know. Um, Semi-engines are designed to run non-stop. Yeah, I've sort of... I've heard that said before. So is that, the, is that that they're better if they're running non-stop, or just that they can? They're designed so that they can? Well, the they can because okay. that's their job they've got yeah, to go long to, distances yeah. really yeah it's more efficient if they don't stop yeah so the horrific the horrific conditions for the poor driver but oh well, no no it's not that it's just that that's why you sort of sometimes if a driver stops sometimes his engine he keeps his engine on oh, okay because of course it also might be more fuel efficient to keep it idling rather than have to start the engine oh stop that, start that yeah. might use yeah. a lot of a lot more fuel to yeah. it. Although I don't know, because cars like that BMW that I drove um, would turn itself off oh, at yeah, the yeah, lights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. At the traffic lights or anywhere else. You'd sometimes be sitting in the middle of the road waiting to turn across the traffic, you know, like turning yeah, no, right, right for us or left I think, for... I think older technologies, that might have been the case, what I was saying, but you, you are correct. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's feasible. But... That's not good. What a catastrophe. I'm so you right? But yeah, I'm just a bit stuck. I've got a lot of... Because I've got a lot of... Are you in um, zucchini? Uh, nope. Good. I've just now got to go back. Where's me thing? Where's me winchy thing? No. What? Uh, I can't find the cross. The release. It's outside of the. Uh, yeah, I know. Screen. Outside of the screen. Did you know that a big rig has a 55-foot turning ra radius? Yeah, I guess. I guess it would do. Really. Well, it's not surprising, but it's still significant. Yeah. Impressive. You know? Yeah. It's not surprising, but it's impressive. <sighs> oh dear, it's a lot of effort, but well worth it, you know, to be dragging up nearly, well, 2,600. Uh, yeah, it'll do us good. That's no, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Oh, it's the wrong end, isn't it? It's the wrong end. It's the wrong end. So you um, far behind me? Yeah, I'm still at the uh, the fuel. Oh, blimey! Well, like I'm, yeah. Well, that was what I was actually saying to you. The fact that this has taken me a lot of manoeuvring, but it's going to be well worth it. Hope so. Well. Is 
so I've got to turn all the trucks, I've got to reconnect and disconnect and re-disconnect and do all those sort of things. Ooh, oh, that was a tight would you believe it? I should be able to have that. What? Oh, just the way the trailers... I can't... It's not showing that I can hook on to... Um, That's not fair. What? Oh, uh, it's just not showing that I can hook onto the trailer where I want to hook onto it. Oh. It's saying I haven't got the. Uh... The average rig has 10 forward and 2 reverse gears. Some even have 18. I assume that's 18 forward, not 18 reverse. Um. I don't fully know, but um, maybe oh, you've got total. a transfer box so that you go through the trans high range, medium, and low range. Yeah, it's like that bike I had. Yeah, yeah, that had 18 gears, didn't it? Yep, mountain bike. It had six gears, and then I think it was. I think it was on the right, right sort of um, handle. You had your six gears. And then on the left handle, you had range, low, medium, and high. So yeah. you'd start in low and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you go to medium, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go into high, one, two, three, four, five, six. It was very good because I, I, it's, I think that was fundamentally my understanding of how gears work. Because I was working as the engine, Yeah. Um, I really got a feel for what the different gears meant for how an engine feels, yeah. you know? So, like a friend was saying the other day, he, he taught all his kids to drive in um, uh, geared cars because you um, it teaches you to listen to the engine mm, mm. so that... Um, right, after all that, I'm attached, but what's the easiest way now to turn around? So just for clarification, I'm in the pond next to where the medium log trailer is. I'll tell you what you could do, which would save us time and effort, yeah. is you could um, just see if that can be pulled out. Okay. Because... Yep. Um, gotcha. Do you remember Mr... Um, what was he called? The, the Dangerous Roads Man? Uh, Yopai. He left us um, a lovely, fully laden... Um, a medium log trailer at the garage in Shoot Dangerous Roads 2, but there's no way we could attach to it. I reckon there might be a way, but the, so, all the trucks we were trying, it wouldn't. That's right, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that so you're going to be able to fuel me up at the log station, yeah? I can fuel you up anywhere you want. Well, I'm basically at the log station, so yep. that's where I want it. No, it's just I'm on about 40% fuel, and I'm going to use up a bunch um, yep. trying to get this, and so I just didn't want to be... did you... Time. You're at the log station, did you say? No, it's in... I can see it. So, did you Stop pull there. the... Did you pull the medium trailer out? Like no, a, I've gone up the other side to detach my trailer Yeah. so that I can go and do that now. Okay. All right. Alright, well finally I am departing the fuel. Good grief, I imagine we'll have had the uh, camera on my screen a lot. Because I just, when I'm editing, I just think, you know, log loading and rearranging trucks and that sort of thing is just the most boring thing in the world. So I tend to focus on someone who's driving because you get to change the scenery at least. Yep. Um, mm. I'd say my. Uh, Diff lock and whatnot off. Oh my goodness me, I'm getting problems here. For now, save a bit of fuel. What's that? Um, traction. That you haven't got much? No. He hasn't got much traction, sir. Traction Tom! Tra yeah, traction, yeah. That was every single tractor we saw in the UK when I was 10. Tractor Tom! 
Isn't it Combine Kevin as well? Combine Kevin, probably. Yes. Combine Kevin! I wonder if I'm in pull or drive. Probably should be in drive, but... Uh... It's Whoops. the wrong way. It doesn't like that. Let's have a look. I am in... He's got a brand new combine harvester. What am I in? I see what's happening. What I'm going to do here, folks. Oh, That's okay. I couldn't see. I was in a, a state of... Okay. What I'm going to do here, folks, uh, is use winching rather than dragging, if that makes sense. Because I don't think it's going to work quite as well if I don't. I'm going to have to winch it in to such a point. Oh, the dragon's working all right here. To such a point that I can attach to it. Because, of course, I can't drag it and pull myself out with a winch, can I? I'm trying to go up your shortcut, but there's... Oh, you've got to go up nice and to the right, and you can attach to the tree that's over there. Uh, okay. I can see a tree, but the thing is... No, I can't reach it. The thing is... Yeah, you is, need to drive uh, back down and go up over to the right by the sounds of it. No, I, I, I sort of... Because... I've got, um... Yeah? Yeah, no, I can't do that. Because okay. I, I need to have the winch in actual use. Hang on, which direction are we going to take the, um... Uh, the medium logs? Because I was about to pull them up to the log kiosk, but I think... Well, we... no, we don't pull them up because we're going to the southwest. Yes, that's why I was asking the question. Well, I've told I haven't... you... Yeah. Goodness knows how many times. No, you don't have to have a go at me. It's still in the puddle. I just wanted to ask which way, so I knew which way to pull them out of the puddle. Well, all you need to do Far at, at the moment is just make sure that we can actually attach we to can. it. We can. Well, I, I haven't actually attached to it, but I've got it in the attach puddle. Attach to it ready and to pull it out. You don't even have to get into the puddle. Well, I can't attach to it because its attachy bit is hanging off the That's cliff. Right. So That's I had right. to pull it back. You have to pull it back first. And I, I've pulled it back, so it's now in the puddle. And now I'm turning around to try and attach to it. And I just didn't want to pull it in the wrong direction. And so I double-checked with you which way we were going to pull it. And I didn't expect this kind of criticism for I'll... crying out loud. There's one thing I like about uh, this pink noise is I can just stick both earphones... <laughs> in my ear and I don't get any flack apparently I'm not allowed to do the same um, Prang don't seem to be able to attach the uh, medium log trailer is that right? yes So if we are to use it, we will need to find something that will do, that will drag a uh, medium log Oh, it would be better if I took the both, both, what's he's like? Okay, I, I can hear you now. What is, you can't attach to it. That's correct. Okay. Oh, well, I'm glad we checked that out. That's why I wanted to check that out. Well, I, I can't attach to it in the C255 in this specific configuration. And it might be because I've got a small log trailer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so are you trying to do it with your log trailer as well? Uh, it's a small log backpack. My apologies. So, you know, it, I might even be able to do it in the C255, but with a, um, with the, uh, like a medium something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I mean, if you can't do it with one, I'm sure you can't do it with With another. one what? One truck or one back? With, with one, yeah, one truck. I mean, if you can't do it with a truck, you can't... What? Hello? I don't think it's worth mussing about with. <sighs> well, look, that's why I asked you to yeah, check I it out. I know. I mean, it would have been useful, but if it's a, a bit of a red herring, then it ain't no good, is it, really? I suppose not. I've just now got it stuck in the middle of my uh, waterway. So you're dragging it backwards. I've dragged it backwards and yeah. then I've got it in such a way that I can attach to it. Yeah. But I couldn't attach to it. So okay. now I'm having to drag it out of the puddle. Okay. All right. So. Because it's still possible we might find something that does do it. Yeah. I can't think what. No, nor can I. There we go. Look at how rainbowy and, and uh, oily this water oh, okay. is. Okay, yeah, I know what you mean. I am now, of course, on a really low amount of fuel. Yep. Well, I'm on my way. I've got loads of fuel. Are you close? No. No. I'm in the red. Well, you just have to stop and play with your crane. I'm <laughs> <laughs> going to play with my crane. I'll tell you what you can do. If you've got one of those, uh, it would be interesting. You know the story of the, uh, the fallen log on the track and can we move it out the way? Oh, yeah. If you've got one of those in the area, you can you can test that. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm still trying to get my um, uh, trailer out of the way, but yeah.